keep I just want to talk a little bit about frustration because if if you know me a little bit, I'm kind of frustrated at, at time as well. I think that goes with the fact if you're getting better or if you want to get better or if you're really serious about your craft, you're always going to have ups and downs and you're also going to be frustrated. Hopefully you're going to be frustrated because that's possibly a sign that you don't want to play and sound anymore like you do, that you're outgrowing something that you are playing or that you're maybe sick of something that you're playing all the time over and over again. And now you're looking for ways to sound different, play it different, and maybe of course also feel different. And I think that's a very natural process. And over many years, I learned to still continue what I'm doing, no matter how I'm feeling, right? I can't let the emotions completely, you know, overtake my life if I'm frustrated to stop practicing. That being said is I also won't force myself to practice for four for hours if I'm completely stressed out. That's also not the way to go because then all sort of the stress and stuff gets into my guitar playing that I don't necessarily want to. So it's a fine line that you can all only decide for yourself. Sometimes it can be the best thing ever to have a break and go outside and take a walk in nature or just, you know, what's the biggest present <laughs> for me in the meanwhile is I, I'm giving myself time. If I have the possibility, I'm sort of giving myself the allowance to do something for two hours or whatever it is. And if that's only sitting in a coffee and drinking coffee or taking a walk or, you know, something that's not necessarily effective or productive or something, you know, like time is money and you, you know, not something like this, but just something that doesn't seem to be like that at all but i can tell you in the end that's exactly what it does because if you follow me you know i've been taking up sports i'm working out a lot i'm getting super depleted today i'm very depleted and then i always feel like shit you know i am so depleted and i spent some time in the gym i didn't practice and now i still can't practice because i'm completely <laughs> depleted but i learned that when i come back to the guitar then later on the next day or whenever that my energy is so re replenished and that I'm feeling so much better. So I want to say, give yourself a break every now and then. And if you have the feeling that's not what what's helping, then continue just doing what you're doing. It takes a long ass time to play jazz guitar. I don't know if that comes from YouTube. I sometimes have the feeling that people think they can very, in a very fast way achieve some things like, you know, I don't want to sound arrogant. I'm not a world famous jazz guitar player, but I think I can play jazz guitar pretty well. I spent, I spent my life doing this. I started when I was 16 and I can't tell you how many hours I spent how frustrated I was and how much I have been struggling. So if you're struggling, never give up, take a break if necessary, or otherwise just sit down and play for 10 minutes and don't let the emotions overwhelm you. If you find that you're getting into a negative thought spiral, right? For me, most of the time, it really helps to sit down with the guitar and play one thing over and over again that sort of relaxes me and there's nothing wrong with doing that to find comfort in your guitar playing and yeah that's just all i want to say and uh, never give up everybody struggles and everybody has the same issues with the guitar probably right like form and tempo and sound and rhythms so you're not alone <laughs> see you around bye